So my adult daughter recently moved out. This, this poem's for her. <laughs> Six years ago, I got the phone call that every parent dreads mm. and rushed breathless to a hospital bed where you lay in a coma. And I learned there there's so many things about a tragedy that no one tells you, like mm. how the ICU is drenched in worry, fear, mm. and grief, and how when hope comes, if it comes, such sweet relief only softens the worry, fear, and grief. You awoke after 10 days, raging like a caged tiger, tied to the bed, feisty, they said, and I laughed. That's my girl. Mm. You're trying to take out the tubes and the respirator. They kept your hands in these huge mittens to keep you from pulling apart your life support. Your eyes were terrified ferocity. It scared me, but I, I think that's what pulled you through. I see you delirium, they tell me, is common, and your skull was shattered, brain broken. You don't remember how or why or what, but I was there through all the pain, and now I know you can't help but blame me on a subdermal hematoma level. So when rage tidal waves over you, I remind you to hold tight to love through the anger, mm -hmm. fear, and pain, and I find myself feeling ashamed of being so human. Mm -hmm. You deserve infinite patience. You deserve to be wrapped in endless blankets of comfort. You're a fucking miracle. Mm. The bravest, fiercest fire I've ever seen. Mm. Your desire to live is a superpower. And my human failings gleam like car headlights in your reflection. No one sees how the ICU trauma carves scars far deeper than the ones on your scalp, your left thigh, the road rash lumps, and the post-surgical stitch marks. No one tells you that TBI's recovery happens so slowly, and there's always parts missing, like the gap in the refit puzzle of your skull just above your left ear. But I know you lost more in a moment than you will ever be able to recover. And you know that some parts of your life are over, and you're picking up the pieces of a broken brain and learning to love again, and still trying six years later to heal pain that you don't even remember. So. Spread those fledgling wings and soar, for you were born to fly. And if the tide returns or the caged tiger yearns to try to tear your life support apart, focus on the strength of your still beating heart. And remember, you're never alone. Mm -hmm. I am here, and I will always be your home. Mm 